Twist on the worm on lay up for your but there is a for yourself treasure in heaven where neither moth nor rust the sons of where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasures is there will your heart be also the eye is the lamp of the body so if your eye is sound your whole body will be full of light but if your your eye is not sound your whole body will be full of darkness if then the light in you is darkness how great is the darkness no one can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other you cannot serve god and mammon therefore i tell you do not be anxious about your life what you shall eat or what you shall drink nor about your body what you shall put on is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O men of little faith? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek all these things. And your Heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things shall be yours as well. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Let the day's own trouble be sufficient for the day. Judge not that you be not judged, for with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged, and the measure you give will be the measure you get. Why do you see the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye, when there is the log in your own eye, you hypocrites, first take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under foot and turn to attack you. Ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he, he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be open. But what man of you, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will give him a serpent? If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask him. So whatever you wish that men would do, do to you, do so to them. For this is the law and the prophets.